talking about all of you. And that's one of the great things about being close with uh, our schools that feed into Baldy is I'm in your school several times too. And so I'm familiar with your classrooms and what you're learning and uh, the community that you're coming from. And I think, and I'm very excited that uh, you are going to fit right in at Baldy. And um, we'll have a lot of time between now and September to really get to know each other a lot better. Um, a lot of it will be virtual. And as Ms. Brower, all of our families and students to know, we really take seriously what we feel our mission is as a school and what we feel that as a middle school, grades six through eight, we're driven to do. And so this is one of the slides that we show for all of our teachers and for all of our families about the things that we prioritize the school and really that big, big mission statement overall, which is the idea that we want everyone that comes into Baldy to be successful. Um, and that is the theme of everything that. We do. And if we break that down a little bit further, and I know you guys are just coming from elementary school. And so this is for a lot of the parents out there. One of our goals is to make sure that all of our students have the opportunity to go to the high school of their choice. So we're grades six, seventh and eighth. And after you finish Baldy, you're going to be thinking about where to go on to high school. And once you uh, have gone through middle school and high school, you think about what you want to do after or what you want to do for college and career, too. And so what we're doing, even as a sixth grader, is really trying to think about what is the best fit for you all. And so we really focus on individualizing our programs to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to go to the school, uh, the high school of their choice. And that means thinking about the grades that you're getting, thinking about the character that you're building, um, and thinking about what you're really interested in learning and loving to learn at our school too. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that today too, about some of the program that we're able to offer in our school, school in Philadelphia. <laughs> And we're really proud of that uh, because while we're a big school, we make sure that every student feels welcome and at home in our school, too. And so this is a little bit of information that we share. And really, some of the things that you should notice is that we serve students from all different backgrounds. And so um, students that have different learning needs is what we specialize in. And so finding out what you're good at, finding out what you need extra help with is what we do really well in our school and it's and in particular our sixth grade team does really well and i see a lot of our sixth grade teachers that are joining this call um they're really skilled and talented at making sure that each student gets what they need to um so i'm going to show some cool pictures that i think that we will be able to demonstrate some of the things that we value and are important at our school too and some of the, the fun um, activities and programs that you're going to be able to participate in as a future Baldy Bulldog. So uh, these are some images from some of our multicultural celebrations in our school. Um, and the top right is something that we're really proud of. We have a we redid our entrance way in our school building where we had students and families create a tile. And so one of the first things that you'll see when you come into Baldy is this wonderful entrance way into our school building. Um, some things that we're really proud of. We're really proud right now um, to be ranked the number one middle school in Philadelphia. And so one thing that you should know going to Baldy is that you're entering into a school that is really strong. And it's strong because of you, our students, and it's strong because of the teachers that are going to be leading and guiding you along the way, too. And so um, we were able to achieve uh, a tier of school called model school status this year that we're really proud of. And with that comes a lot of expectations of our students, too. And so not the pressure, but we as a model school have model students and we expect our students to demonstrate the, the, the school values and, and the work ethic to really make sure that our school is continuing to move in the right direction. Because if our school moves in the right direction, you move in the right direction. Um, and then one of the things that I had mentioned earlier is we're really good at finding what you're good at, but also finding where you need work. And in 2018-19, one of our biggest points of pride is the fact that we were the number one school in Philadelphia for growth. So this, is a, this means it doesn't matter where you started. It mattered that once you got to Baldy, you improved yourself. And we did this both in English language arts and math and science, um, according to the state PVOS assessment, which is how we measure students growing over year to year. So if you have some things to work on academically, know that you're coming to a school that's going to really support your improvement. Um, 
fun stuff. So we really think that it's important to build a community around our school. So we have a really big back to school night. Um, we have lots of field trips that we plan for students. Here are some of our students going to the Penn Museum um, and learning about uh, the Egyptian mummies there. Uh, sixth grade has some wonderful activities. We have a sixth grade fun day. Um, each month we have an incentive for students that are making the right choices in our school um, so they can participate in a fun activity if they've earned enough class dojo points. And so last year we got these huge inflatables out. I had a really great time going down that slide. Do not suggest going down slides head first, though. I didn't know you weren't supposed to do that. Um, so I walked away with some uh, some fun injuries. And this is Ryan and Miss Bragg. Remember that? Uh, and we have dances at our school, too. And so uh, we have a lot of those fun activities for students that are making the right choices. Uh, something that I'm really proud of in our school is the amount of athletics that we offer. Raise your hand if you like to play sports. We have any sports players on the call? Okay, cool. Um, we have every sport team that you can think of. So we have um, basketball, softball, field hockey, lacrosse, volleyball, soccer. Um, we have uh, students who play bocce ball. We have anything that has a ball in it, we offer it at our school. <laughs> so if you're a sports player, know that you're going to be able to jump right in and play sports. And even if you don't play on a team, we have club sports, so we have club basketball, we have a program in the morning. Parents, this is really important to know that you can drop your students off at 7.15 in the morning and they, they can play sports from 7.15 until school starts at 8.15. That gives some extra time to exercise, get ready for the school day, or maybe you have to do an early drop off for you to get to work. We do offer our gymnasium to be open in the morning for students to come in and play sports as well. Um, I mentioned some other programs that we're really proud of in our school is on this far left slide right here. We have um, a, a partnership with the Special Olympics. This means that inside of our school, we actually have students do work with students with different needs. Um, but we also partner with a larger organization to make sure that our students are um, working and aware that, again, we all learn differently and it's important that we support each other. We also had a really great assembly last year at the Philadelphia Eagles. Raise your hand if you play an instrument. Okay, good, great. Um, raise your hand if you sing. Anybody hear some? Great. We have instrumental music. We have choir at our school. Um, we have a lot of students who are going to high school to play musical instruments too. And so as we think about getting ready for high school, one of the big things that we want to make sure for our, our music inclined students is that you're continuing to excel in your musical instruments um, and so we have a really strong instrumental music program also at our school. Um, recently we had a project to redo our library and so our library has now been converted into a multi-use technology space where we have classes that are held that are focused on 3D printing, uh, computer programming, uh, robotics, um, and really just anything that students can think of to create, we create at Baldy in our makerspace lab. And so we opened the space last year. We've had tons of art projects. We've had visitors from all across the city come and speak to our students. Um, it's a really fun, interactive space. And to think about this, outside of your regular content classes of uh, English, language, arts, math, social studies, and science, at Baldy, we also offer computer programming, digital and graphic arts, where students are going onto the computers and you're designing your own logos and businesses. Uh, we, have an we have a music keyboarding class where students will um, learn how to use the keyboard and make music. Um, we have two different art classes. We have an agricultural science class that travels off-site to Fox Chase Farms to uh, learn about um, our environment and how science works in agriculture. Um, we have so many different exciting classes that you're going to take in school uh, um, that's going to really, I think, open your eyes to a lot of uh, the the uh, opportunities in high school and really in our world. And so we're really 
excited for all of our students to come in and experience some of those classes next year. And a lot of students always ask, do we get health and PE? Do we get gym? Every student gets health and PE and gym all year round. You have them multiple times a week. And so one of the really cool things that we're able to offer at our school is uh, two full service gymnasiums with basketball courts. We have fields outside where students can play sports all year round. And so we have a really great space for students to remain active in health and PE also. Um, so it's exciting. I know there's a lot going on in our world right now. There's a lot of uh, changes that are taking place. We're planning to have you all here and join us in September. We're really excited to, to meet you all and to get to know you better. Um, I'm really excited to get to know you all and meet you. And uh, one of my goals is to try to get to know every single student. Uh, it's hard at a large school like ours, but um, I really encourage you all to continue to introduce yourself to me. You'll see me around the school a lot. Um, one of our big uh, focuses is to make sure that we're building a community where everybody feels safe and comfortable. And part of that is to really get to know each of you and um, make sure that you're introducing yourself uh, when you get to see Mr. Hofstetter uh, in person. But I'm really excited to uh, see you all, all uh, not virtually, but in real life soon. Uh, but right now, it's super important that we're all staying safe and that we're learning uh, virtually and that we're, um, you know, doing what we need to do to get focused for the start of middle school. So that's the end of my spiel uh, uh, regarding this wonderful fifth grade class. We're really looking forward to having them join the Baldy community. And pretty soon you're going to be Baldy Bulldogs. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So we can't wait to meet you guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Hostetter. Um, if you have any questions pertaining to Mr. Hostetter's presentation, I'm going to ask that you type them into the chat at this time. Uh, the reason why we have you guys entering them into the chat is because at the end of this, we'll be able to keep these questions. And if we don't get to answer all of them, we'll figure out some ways to answer them for you between now and September as best as we can. So right now you're entering questions that specifically pertain to Mr. Hofstetter's presentation. And we'll just take a couple minutes and we'll go through and answer a few of them. We might not get to all of them. And also, I just want to remind you that uh, if you feel like you didn't get enough information, I mean, Mr. Hostetter did a wonderful job. You can definitely go to Baldi's website, look for where it says incoming sixth graders, and you'll be able to watch videos from myself, Mrs. Cummings, our sixth grade counselor, and Mrs. Ryan, our dean of students, who are all here today, um, just to kind of give you a little bit more information. So please answer your questions at this time. And Mr. Hostetter, I will throw some questions to you if you are ready. Okay. I'm ready. So football, always a big question. Could you speak to football, football for us? We have football. We have, um, we're excited to partner with the school district of Philadelphia to have a, uh, a, a football program that is teaching students the safe ways to play tackle football. And so we actually have a tackle football program that's run by a coach who has a lot of experience coaching high school. Um, and is now taking over our Baldy football program. Um, and we also offer flag football, too. And we had, we had close to 150 students play flag football with us last year. And the way we think about our football program is if you didn't make the, the, the main team for tackle football, the flag program gets you ready and prepared to hopefully play the tackle program in 7th and 8th grade, too. And so if you're interested in playing football, we definitely suggest starting with flag football and moving into uh, the tackle football program. Thank you so much. Uh, two additional questions. How do we sign up for sports? If you could talk briefly about that. And then um, I, there's some specific questions about other sports that we have. Guys, if you go to our website, you'll definitely be able to get those specific answers. But there is field hockey, floor hockey, and so, Mr. Hosseter, can you talk about soccer and how do we sign up for sports? Thank you. Soccer. Soccer, greatest game on earth. Just kidding. I was a soccer player in college, so I, I have a bias towards soccer. Um, yes. So, sports. You will hear information about sports. Uh, a plug for Class Dojo. Class Dojo is our primary method of communication for all families and parents, and so we'll always be posting 
information about when sports are starting. We usually hold a meeting after school um, for students that are interested in playing fall, winter, or spring sports, and that information would be shared at a time with you all about when those meetings are being held. Um, important to know that if your child is going to be playing sports, you have to get a physical form filled out, which is the PIAA physical form, um, just to make sure that we're being safe while we play sports still. And all this information will be shared with the coaches um, and physical education teachers. One of our physical education teachers is our director of athletics at the school, too. It's our sports program at our school, um, and he uh, is in coordination with all of our uh, coaches as well. So um, just be on the lookout. Uh, and as you kind of come into Baldy, not just for sports, but for really anything that we're communicating out, Class Dojo. That's the place that we share um, the most important information to all of our families as quickly as possible. So just keep a lookout for that, too. Um, other sports, yes, the soccer and their tryouts in middle school, too. Uh, um, unfortunately, because we have such a large group of students at our school, we do hold tryouts for some of the sports programs. Um, but again, we have different club sports and after school programs that we offer where students can sign up and they won't have to try out. But for the competitive sports, there are going to be tryouts. Um, but for a lot of the other programs, like I saw badminton pop across, I saw we all, we have a badminton club that um, actually plays every morning um, for parts of the year in our gyms. Uh, so really, I mean, if you can conceive of it, we probably offer it at some point in our uh at some point in our school year. Dodgeball, I call dodgeball pop across. That's usually in health and PE class. We'll play dodgeball. Um, we don't have a competitive dodgeball team yet, but if you have an idea, maybe we could, maybe we could start one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Hostetter. Okay, so at this time, guys, we're going to move forward. Continue to put your questions in the chat, though, if they pertain to Mr. Hostetter's presentation. Right now, we're going to be talking very briefly about policies and procedures. And Mrs. Ryan is one of our deans of students. She will be sharing with you some information regarding our policies and procedures. And just another quick reminder, if Mrs. Ryan doesn't get to everything, make sure you go to Baldi's website, look for incoming sixth mm -hmm. graders, and you can watch Mrs. Ryan's video, which gives you a little bit more information about our policies and procedures. Mrs. Ryan? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, if you watch the video, you already know who I am. I'm one of the deans of students at Baldy Middle School, along with Mr. Carr, who is my partner. He was not able to join us this morning, um, but you were not able to watch the video yet. A lot of the questions that you are asking are actually already answered. For instance, um, the code of conduct and Baldy's own specific rules can be found on Baldy's website. The code of conduct is something that every student at every school in the school district must follow. Um, something that's a little bit different now that you guys are getting in middle school are the consequences. And the code of conduct goes over each one of those, including um, for someone who does something so severely that they have to have a disciplinary hearing down at the school district, some students are removed out of the school. For the duration of middle school. Uh, to Baldy Middle School. The handbook is on there for everybody to look over. When you get to Baldy, all of your teachers will go over these rules just to make sure that you are clear on the expectations. Um, also, we do have uniforms, depending on what day of the week, depends on which uniform you will wear. It gives you our general school uniform as well as the gym school uniform. It also discusses hoodies. The only hoodie allowed to be worn at Baldy Middle School is the Baldy Middle School hoodie. There are directions on our webpage. If you would like to already purchase the Baldy hoodie, you can do that. The link will also go active the first couple of weeks of school in case you are not able to purchase it now. Um, there are consequences for students who are out of uniform. And of course, the first couple of weeks is going to be a learning curve. Um, there will be no consequences for those students until you are able to get the routine down. But after a few weeks, like I said, with your teacher's help, you will be able to figure out what uniform to wear on what day. Um, we have things such as lunch detentions, after school Friday detentions, Saturday detentions, removal from fun activities that you do either within 
your own teacher's classroom or team of teachers, as well as whole school activities. Um, a lot of you probably already have a cell phone. And if you don't, maybe you're getting a cell phone for the first time. We know you're traveling on SEPTA. Probably most of you for the first time and your parents want to be able to get a hold of you. Um, or you might be staying after school and you need to get a hold of your parents. That's fine. We just ask that your cell phones remain in your school bag, turned off or on silent, or in your pocket, um, or in your locker. This way there's no disruptions to learning. Um, we also go over in the video bullying and harassment. Hopefully none of you um, have had to face that, but if you find yourself a victim or if you find that your friend may be a victim, there is a form on the school district website. I give you directions as to how to find that form and we will do a formal investigation. With over 1,500 kids, I have to tell you, most of our kids are actually really, really good and we don't have too many problems. Our kids are generally accepting of everyone and anyone. Um, but like I said, every now and again, something may happen and we will do a formal investigation if you feel as though there is something going on. Uh, trans passes, I know a lot of you are excited again to be riding SEPTA for the first time. No community members can get on our buses. Again, this is for the safety of our students. So if you visit Baldi's website, you can figure out which bus goes closest to your street. On the first day of school, SEPTA is free. So your kids can get on the bus in the morning, they will not have to pay. And as long as their name appears on that list that the school district does give us, they will get that trans pass that day. And then it is something that is handed out once every week. Um, please make sure, again, you watch that video. There's a lot of other important information regarding that trans pass. They're extremely valuable. They are worth close to $30 every week. So if your child loses it, you're gonna have to figure out how to get them to school, maybe give them some money, maybe drive them, maybe carpool. Um, it is not something that Baldy Middle School replaces. Again, it is established from a list that the school district does give us. Um, every now and again, there are some mistakes. Um, we are able to, you know, investigate. If, um, Mr. Hostetter touched on sports. Again, this is a privilege. If you are not behaving in school, you will not be able to represent the school outside of our building. And registration, if you are someone that needs to be contacted individually, we will take care of that so that everything is ready to go for the beginning of the school year. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. Really appreciate it. Ryan has a video up for you to view, and you can also see our code of conduct and our uh, student handbook. Uh, so if you have questions for Mrs. Ryan, you can put them in the chat. Right now, we're going to move on and have a conversation with some of our sixth grade teachers here. Um, I just want to make sure that I have everyone accounted for. I see Mrs. David, Ms. Davis, um, Mrs. McGarrigal. I'm not sure if you are still here. Um, Mrs. Smoyer, Mrs. Ty, Mrs. Tremble, and Mrs. Contutis. If you all are here, um, if you could go in that order, I would love for you guys to introduce yourselves, the content that you teach, and tell us what you love about Baldy. And everyone, these are just some of our amazing sixth grade teachers. We are so very fortunate to have some of the best teachers in the city here, and um, I'd love for them to introduce themselves to you now. So thank you guys so much. I think I'm on. Good morning, uh, my rising sixth graders. Next to you all. Okay, I am Ms. Davis. I'm 602. I'm sixth grade math. I'm excited to meet you all. Look forward to seeing you all. What I love about Baldy is I love the diversity. I love that we all think differently, and I support that wholeheartedly. Next to you all. My name is Mrs. McGarrigal. I teach sixth grade ELA and I love working at Baldy. It's an, a terrific school and I look forward to meeting you all next year. Bye. Mrs. Smoyer, are you still here? Okay. 
Uh, Mrs. Ty. Good morning, fifth grade students, soon to be sixth grade students. Um, I teach ELA and social studies at Baldy. I have been teaching at Baldy for next year, it will be 17 years, which is a very long time. And there are so many things that I love about Baldy. I don't know where to start. I think the um, one of the most important things is that Baldy becomes a family. When you start at Baldy, we truly do become a family. And Baldy students love to learn. I think that is my top thing that we love, or that I love, that Baldy students come to school and they focus and they want to learn because they want to go out and make a name for themselves in the world. So thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys later. Thank you, Mrs. Ty. Mrs. Trimble. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Trimble. I teach math and science. Um, the advisor for 616. Um, it's really hard to say why or one thing why I love Baldy. Um, the opportunities. You guys will be the ones to come back and tell us. And, and the kids never want to leave Baldy. So right then and there, it just shows you. Um, they really don't. You're afraid. You're probably very nervous and saying, yes, this teacher is insane. But I'm telling you right now, they, this every year, they don't want to come. They don't want to come. And then in eighth grade at the end of the year, they don't want to leave. So basically, um, that's about it. Can't wait to meet everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Mrs. Trimble. Mrs. Contutis. Hi, I am Mrs. Contutis. I am one of the ESOL teachers at Baldy. So I work with students um, that have English as their second language. As Mr. Hostetter said earlier, we have um, students speaking over 30 languages in our building. So we have students from all over the world. Um, and as Ms. Ty said, as um, Baldy, you quickly become part of a family. Even though we have a large school, you quickly feel close to your teachers um, and staff and the other students in the building. And we really have the best teachers and the best students. We support you. We support your parents. And something that I feel that makes us particularly special is that we empower our students. So they feel like they can change the world, and they do. And we have students that come back from high school to visit us and from college. And that really is something that I think makes us stand out. So it's truly inspiring, and I'm so excited to welcome you into the building and um, into our school and into our family. See you soon. Thank you so much, Mrs. Consutis. Mrs. Smoyer, did I see you come back? There you are. Uh -oh. um, just the, the knowledge that our students come in with and the questions that they ask. Sorry that I'm still on. I'm going to unblock my camera. There we go. There, we, there I am. Um, the knowledge that the students come in with and how we help them grow um, through the students' hard work, their perseverance, their determination. Um, our body students really just are the hardest workers. So I love that. And that, that as a math teacher for me is my favorite part, just how hard our students work and how much we see them improve throughout the school year. Thank you so much, Mrs. Smoyer. Um, if anyone has any questions for our teachers, you can put them in the chat at this time. You have reading teachers, math and science, reading and social studies, math and science, and an ESOL teacher in the chat. If you have any questions for them, you can enter them at this time. I'll wait a few minutes, and then if there are no questions, we will move on. Teachers, thank you so much for coming. I'm not sure if you guys have any other of your virtual learning classes. They're still teaching as this is going on, so if you guys need to cut out early, you're more than welcome to do so. But thank you again so much for coming. Let's just wait one more minute for any questions. Okay, thank you guys so much. That concludes our teacher portion. And now um, it is my pleasure to welcome uh, Mrs. Cummings. She is our sixth grade counselor. 
Baldy is so very fortunate in that we have one counselor per grade and not to, you know, brag or anything, Mrs. Cummings is the best. So um, at this time, she will be sharing some information with you all. Thank you. Welcome to the middle cool side. You should know this right up front. I do love corny jokes, so just get used to it. They're probably gonna keep coming. I literally can't stop them. Um, so I hope you did get a chance to watch the videos. I know Ms. Bragg described on how you could get to them. You definitely should watch them. I do hear Oscar buzz, I'm just saying. Check them out. <laughs> um, just some highlights from the videos or my video is that we just wanna remember that everybody is both excited and nervous about starting sixth grade. You're all gonna be coming in new. Some of us might be a little more excited than nervous and there might be other of us that are a little bit more nervous than excited. But we're all going through it together. We're there to support you and just know that we're gonna have fun along the way. Um, another thing is that one of the things that might be most scary about coming to Baldy is also the best thing about Baldy, or one of the best things I should say, is that it is so big. But it's so big that you definitely, it's almost guaranteed that you'll find a bestie for life because there's so much diversity, everybody's different, you're just going to fall in and find your niche and be like, where was this all this time that I've been waiting for? You're going to have such a great time. And it is so big, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get lost because the sixth grade, when you come in, you have your own entrance, you come in, your core classes will be right next to each other. You do move as a class. So even later on in the beginning, when you're moving to your electives, your teachers will be taking you there to begin with to kind of guide you and make sure you know where you're going. Um, but then after a couple weeks, when you know where you're going, you're going to get that freedom to be able to walk together you'll still be with your class but kind of just feeling a little bit more mature and independent so it's just it's a great it's a great beginning to being more independent uh, uh -oh. we just do really have a good group of kids that go to Baldy our eighth graders are nice and they're kind and most of them are there willing to help but you're not even going to be in the same section with them Anyway, you have a different entrance, a different exit, and they are on a different floor. So all of those scary things that you see on movies about people throwing people into lockers, that's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and just overall, make sure that you're always choosing kindness. At Baldy, you always get recognized for that. And um, it's just going to be your, your great way. That's how you're going to make connections. And people will notice you for being kind and point you out for that. And that's what we really um, value. And remember that you are going to make mistakes. And that's fine. That's okay. That's how you grow. And we're going to be there to help you. Just remember to do the next right thing. And a lot of times that next right thing might be just asking for help. And we all are here to help you with that. And that's it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cummings. I really appreciate it. Um, there are a few questions in the chat uh, that I just want to touch base on very quickly which are, um, can your parents drive you to school? Yes, um, traffic is very hectic in the morning because we do have 1,500 students that are arriving at the same time and we have about 16 chartered SEPTA buses that are arriving in the morning and we have students that are walking in the morning. So yes, uh, parents can um, drive you to school but they're not allowed into the parking lot. All of that information will be shared with you as time goes on. Yes, we also provide breakfast and lunch and um, those are kind of the larger questions. Again, um, please make sure that you visit our website to make sure that you uh, are staying up on the information. There may be updates. Mr. Hostetter will be in contact with your lovely principal to let you know when there is an update on our end um, for you as incoming sixth, incoming sixth graders. So this was just as good. And please make sure that you share with your friends the things that you learned today. Um, make sure that they go to Baldi's website and continue. We have a, um, a question form that's up as well. So you can input any additional questions that you have. And we'll try to get those answered as well. And I just really want to thank you guys for coming. This video will be, this chat uh, will be up on our website, hopefully by the end of the day today. If not, by tomorrow. If you have some friends that you want to say, hey, we had this cool conversation with the principal and assistant principal and sixth grade teachers and counselor and dean. Go check it out. Please do so. And if there are no other questions, um, thank you guys so much for coming. We really appreciate it. And we'll speak to you soon.
Have a great day, everyone. Thank you guys so much.